we are going to verify that this equation is a solution to this differential equation. And as we can see, we have a second derivative here, right? And that means we have to differentiate this equation twice. And this is the product of two functions. Be sure we use the product rule. Let's get to work. Here we have y prime for the first derivative. And the first thing I want to use for the product rule is we will first keep this function negative cosine x and we'll multiply by the derivative of the second function. And let me just do this on the slide for you guys. Maybe some of you guys already see it. The derivative of this is just nothing but secant x. But let me show you guys all the steps right here. Let me differentiate ln of secant x plus tangent x. All right? So the derivative of ln of something is just going to be 1 over this, right? Which is secant x plus tangent x. And the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative inside. The derivative of secant x is just secant x times tangent x. And then we add it with the derivative of tangent x is secant squared x. And now I can put this on the top, divided by that, right? Well, you see that here we have secant x, and this is secant squared x. I can factor out a secant x, so I'll do that right here. Secant x, and you see that we have the tangent x left for the first term right here, and we add it with another secant x. So I'll put this down right here. That's on the top, and we divide it by the bottom, which is secant x plus tangent x. And you see that this and that are technically the same thing, right? Because the order of addition doesn't matter. So you can just cancel, cancel. At the end, you see that we have just secant x. And now I will come back to this for you guys. So I keep the first function. I multiply by the derivative of the second, which is just secant x, right? So I'll put this down right here. And then we add it with the second function. Well, it is just what it is. ln of secant x plus tangent x. And we will multiply by the derivative of the first function. Derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. But then we have another negative in the front. So altogether, we have positive sine x. Okay? The derivative of negative cosine x altogether give us positive sine x, and this is what we have. And before we do the second derivative, you see that this is cosine x times secant x. Secant x is the same as saying 1 over cosine x, right? So we have cosine x over cosine x, and that's just 1. And we have a negative in front, so this is just negative 1. And for this term right here, let me put a sine x in the front, so we have plus sine x times ln parentheses secant x plus tangent x. And this is the first derivative right here. And now, let's proceed to the second derivative. For the second derivative, y double prime, the derivative of negative 1 is 0. That's good. Product of two functions again. So product rule. I will keep the first function, which is sine x. And we will multiply by the derivative of the second function. It's once again, it's going to give us secant x. So this is going to be secant x. And now we add the second function, which is ln parentheses secant x plus tangent x. And we multiply by the derivative of the first function, which is going to be cosine x, right? And you see that, in fact, we can simplify this a little bit, because secant x is just 1 over cosine x. Here we have sine x over cosine x. That's going to give us tangent x. And I'll put this in the front. So we have plus cosine x times ln parentheses secant x plus tangent x. And this right here is our second derivative. And now I'm just going to erase this real quick. And we'll plug in the second derivative and also the original into this differential equation right here. And you'll see that they will be the same. So for the second derivative, it's just that. So let me write it down right here. We have tangent x plus cosine x times ln parentheses secant x plus tangent x, right? This is the first part right here. And we have to add the original. So we are going to just let me write it down. We add the original, which is y, which is that. 
So it's negative cosine x times ln parentheses secant x plus tangent x, right? All right. Now you see, when you add this with that, this is positive cosine of that, and this is negative cosine of the same thing. So of course, this and that will cancel each other out. All in all, you do end up with nothing but just tangent x. So you see that that equation it is a solution to this differential equation. So this is pretty cool, isn't it? But another point I can make is this is rather uh, a simple looking differential equation, right? Because the look is just like this, right? Tangent x, we're familiar with that. However, uh, the solution is quite complicated. And in fact, this is technically, I would say it's like a famous question because in order for you guys to solve from this to get the solution, we have to use a method called the variation of parameter, but that will be for later on. At the moment, we have to know how to verify an equation is a solution to a given differential equation. And this is it.